homeowners meet your number one enemy this spring. Ooh, baby, these bugs eat people's houses. These are Eastern subterranean termites, reticular termites. These guys are pretty nasty. They can cause a lot of damage. More than $5 billion in damage per year in the U.S., according to the National Pest Management Association. Tack on another $2 billion a year in treatment costs, and termites are one of our most destructive and expensive structural pests. They're found from New England to Florida, from East Coast to West, and when they're not too busy snacking on our homes, they're actually pretty amazing creatures. Normally when we think of social insects, we think of things like honeybees and bumblebees and ants, but the other big social guys are the termites. In this little petri plate, I've got some nice workers. These are basically the ones that are gonna help take care of the colony, help with the brood, take care of the queen. We've got some soldiers in here. These are the guys with the massive heads, the powerful jaws. So when they go out on a hunting trip, the soldiers will go along and help protect the workers. We also have alates in here. Alates are winged reproductive swarmers, basically scouts, on the search for wet wood to start a new colony. And as a cold, snowy winter turns into a warm, soggy spring, watch out. During winter, if it's a particularly difficult winter and there's a lot of snow, you may have ice damming. And that's when the gutters will fill up with ice. And as it starts to melt, it'll back up underneath the shingles. So sometimes moisture is introduced that way. And that moisture is important because subterranean termites need it to survive. But it also gives them away. A sign of a possible termite infestation are straw-shaped mud tubes that go up a home's foundation or a piece of wood. And these are the tubes that the termites build to keep their humidity at about 100%. They cannot be exposed to low humidity, otherwise their bodies dry out because they're very soft. Combine that moisture with wooden shelter and a home becomes an all-you-can-eat buffet. But there are things you can do to reduce your chance of an infestation. Number one, clean out those gutters. Make sure there's not some kind of obstruction that's going to cause wet wood. Number two, don't put your mulch right up against your house. If you have wood mulch on your flower beds and it's right against your house, hey, you're making a highway for these termites to get in. Number three, don't keep your wood pile up against your house either because the termites will infest that wood and this is gonna be their entree right into your house. If you do suspect that termites are already unwelcome house guests, both Bauman and Ralph suggest calling a professional to get an inspection. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.